Hey you guys, it's Kiana once again coming at you. And as the title says, you all know what we're cooking today. So I've done several videos and I did it in stages so that you guys can know how to fix it and also maybe incorporate your own um, your own ingredients as you go along. Um, so we making this meal, of course, actually all my meals are ten dollars and under, feeding up to four to six people, um, depending upon your um, portion sizes. Today we're making smothered, um, actually braised smothered, um, country style pork ribs. And we're on the stage of um, the homemade gravy. Now I did a video where I showed you how to actually season and braise the meat. Um, lightly drizzling flour, um, extra virgin olive oil, making it hot and all that kind of stuff. The videos are broken down. I also uh, showed you how to make the cheesecake. This video right here is going to actually show you the home style gravy, how it should look, what consistency it should have. We're going to pour it over top of the braised um, pork ribs. The oven has been preheated for the past 20-25 minutes on 375 so it's nice and hot now. And once we all already do um, the pouring of the gravy over the meat, you're going to cover it in aluminum foil and place it in the oven for about 45 minutes. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys the cheesecake because that is firm because it was in the refrigerator while I was raising the meat and making the gravy. So that's actually done. The cheesecake is all ready to go. Um, and I'm going to show you how to cut these strawberries. They're thawed out now. Cut the strawberries. Place it all nice and pretty on the cheesecake. And serve it with a cup of vanilla ice cream on the side. Now, I'm just going to zoom in so you guys, or zoom down, so you guys can see the consistency of the gravy. And also, we're going to pour it over top of the meat. Okay? This is the meat. And this is the gravy. I don't know if you can see because of my camera, you guys. But this is the consistency of the gravy that you want. Okay? This is the consistency of the gravy. And the reason why you don't want it too thick is because with the braising, you use flour. And that's going to thicken the gravy up, gravy up even more. So you don't want it too thick while you're pouring it over top of the meat. Then it's going to be way too thick and it's going to stick to the meat like a coating. And it's not going to be... Uh, it's not going to make the meat tender. It's just going to be like a thick layer of gravy on top. So you don't want it like that. So you want it about this consistency. And this actually cost us nothing because all we did was we used the droppings of the pork that we braised. And this was actually the pot that I braised the meat in. So it's good to use the same pot to make your gravy that you braised the meat in because all those flavors was in that little bit of extra virgin olive oil that was left in the pot. So, we're going to just pour this over top of the meat. And this is where the title Smothered Country Style Pork Chops come into play. Now, many of you guys do not eat pork. And actually, if you look at my videos, I almost never eat it. Not because of health reasons, I just don't eat it. Um, and it's not because of budget reasons, because this meal is $10 or under. This pack of meat cost me only $5 and I think 35 cents. The rice we already had. Cheesecake was $2 with the ice cream. So this meal actually cost me less than that. We're making lemonade. So, you know that don't cost much. And I buy my sugar in bulk. So, But this is how it looks. You want to make sure all the meat is covered and all the meat is going to be and what this does is it actually is going to create your meat to be extra tender and packed with extra flavor. This is the consistency you want. Wiggle it around a little bit because the bottom you want that to have gravy on it as well. Place this in the oven, as I stated before, with the Roman foil on it for about 45 minutes. This is Sunday's dinner. That's why I'm doing it late tonight. In Maryland, it's 717. 
So I'm cooking this late tonight because we are going to have this for tomorrow. And we have to run all those kids around. Um, to go trick or treating. So I'm not going to feel like cooking tomorrow. Um, but the family still needs to eat. And um, why not have a nice Sunday dinner even though it's Halloween and we got, you know, some things to do tomorrow night. So I'll start. And so I won't be overwhelmed. Uh, cook this tonight. So you can actually slow cook this on about 325 and slow cook it for about an hour and 20 minutes. And that will create the meat to be literally ridiculously tender. You're going to serve this over top of either egg noodles or uh, fluffy rice. I've opted for the fluffy rice. And we're going to have some fresh green beans that I made the other day with some um, bacon drippings and also some uh, smoked neck bones. And that's the hubby, you guys. Let's see what he wants. Hello? Hey, Beth. Yeah. Right. Yeah, do that. Yeah, because I'm fixing this, but this is basically for tomorrow. Unless you want some tonight, but... Yeah. Okay, I'm doing a video. You're actually on the computer now. He said blue ball, you guys. Alright, baby. Love you, too. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, this is how it looks, you guys. And that is your braised smothered pork chops. I'm not pork chop, so you can use this as a pork chop. Um, braised, smothered, country style pork ribs. And now we're going to just go on and do our strawberries for our strawberry cheesecake. Um, as I was stating that a lot of my viewers have been saying that they don't eat um, pork. So you can actually make this with uh, chicken. And you could do it with chicken thighs or um, you could do it with chicken breasts. Um, I would do it with thighs though. And you still, you know, smother it, the smothered chicken. Um, still do the rice and all that good stuff. I'm just going to put this aside so I can show you guys how to, how the cheese steak tur che cheesecake turned out. <laughs> this is the cheesecake once it's burned. As you can see, it's not moving anywhere. This cheesecake cost us literally a dollar to make. And you want to leave some available the well in the well of the cheesecake around the room because then you want to pack your strawberries on and I've noticed that a lot of people don't put enough strawberries or whatever they use um, for their cheesecake so I want to definitely make mine to be plenty okay so just gonna take a paper plate and just use that to cut And we bought the strawberries from the Dollar Store, the Dollar Tree, actually. Um, I showed you guys how to make the cheesecake, literally for a dollar in the previous video. I think it's two videos ago. Uh, we got these for a dollar. The strawberries were frozen. They are semi thawed out and I say semi because I still want them to be firm because I am slicing into them and I don't want them to be too mushy so what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't thaw them out all the way so this is not something that you want to place in the microwave um, that's why I told you to place it to next to the stove while you were cooking because it just naturally from the natural heat of the stove would thaw it out automatically Okay. You want your strawberries to be not in huge chunks, but not mushy and no teeny weeny baby chunks either. Okay. Now this is supposed to be for tomorrow's dinner, Sunday dinner, but I guarantee you, even the daddy don't touch them pork chops, he won't touch this cheesecake because this is his favorite besides carrot cake. This is these are his two favorite desserts. So he's going to touch 
he's definitely going to touch the uh, cheesecake. So what I've done is I didn't show y'all, but off camera, I actually made two. And you're just going to drizzle this on top. Now I like to make mine pretty, so I like to place them face down. But you really can't mess up because the amount of strawberries I'm going to use, you're not even going to really see many spaces in between it. Because when we like strawberry cheesecake, I like it to definitely have plenty of strawberries. This is basically a half a bag of the strawberry um, that you got for a dollar. So, so actually, in essence, this actually costs under $2.00. Because you can use that strawberry, the leftover, for maybe a smoothie tomorrow to give me that extra energy I'm going to need. <laughs> or just to put it on top of some oatmeal. Just making use of everything that we have. Making sure... It's economical because times is hard and it's Christmas time coming up coming up. So if we could just trim fifty dollars off of our food budget for this month, next month, and December, just think that's a hundred and fifty dollars extra that you have for Christmas. Just by trimming fifty dollars. And if you go along with my recipes, you know, I'm not saying I'm the most economical person, but if you go along with my recipes, like I told you in the beginning. When I started the cooking series, you will definitely save about a hundred dollars a month. But the key is buying in bulk, and the key is also buying when it's on sale, even if you don't go to like warehouse stores. And this is our strawberry cheesecake and our vanilla ice cream is gonna be on the side. So you just want to put this back in the refrigerator, saran wrap it. I'll zoom in for you guys. And then also before I serve, I will put a dollop of whipped cream. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I will show you the end results once the uh, pork is out of the oven. And hopefully you see that it's not that hard to fix a nice um, full meal for your family. It's not, um, it don't have to be expensive. And a lot of people consider like ribs expensive. I've done this to feed four to six people really healthy portions for $10. Um, pair this, as I stated before, with some lemonade or some iced tea because those two are cheap drinks. And um, that's it. You already have, I have the green beans. Um, they just need to be heated up, but they were from scratch. Um, as I stated before with the uh, pork, um, the bacon drippings and also a little bit of bacon and uh, smoked neck bones. You're just going to put that in the pot and just a tiny bit of um, um, butter because of all the uh, other flavors, you really don't need that much butter. Um, so just add a little bit of butter and heat that up and that's the meal. So, I love you guys. Um, next will be, again, the video of how the end results of the meat looked. And uh, hopefully you go back and look at each individual um, video, if you haven't already. And thank you guys for commenting and all that good stuff. Be blessed.